Now that we have our first project created here in FreshBooks and some tasks associated with that project, let's go ahead and look at how we can use FreshBooks to bill for that project. So I'm inside the time tracking section here and I'm just at the first subsection which is called timesheet. This is a section that your contractors and staff members will also have access to so that they can record their own hours. Now there's two ways I can do this here in FreshBooks. First of all I want to click on the day where my hours are being tracked. So I'll choose today, the 5th. Now I can manually add the amount of hours that I want to add, which I'm going to do. But at the same time, I could also use this timer feature. And if I click Start Timer, you'll see that I get this little pop-up that comes up. And I can choose the project. So you can see I have one project, Research Project 3, associated with Company ABC. I can choose the task that I'm doing. And right now, there's only one task associated with this project. However, you can see, again, I can add tasks on the fly. So FreshBooks is making this very, very easy for us. I can choose Research. And then I can go ahead and I can enter the amount of hours or I can go ahead and just start this timer and have this timer work in the background while I'm working on my task. Once I'm finished, I can go ahead and hit stop and I could log my hours. Obviously, this is only six seconds. That's not going to add up to anything. Um, but that is definitely a feature that I know a lot of people like to use because when running a small business, you spend a lot of hours, uh, maybe more hours than you need to or at least to get the ball rolling on specific tasks and sometimes you, you can get carried away and not realize how much time you're actually spending on a specific task or project. So by using this timer, it's a great way to record that either for your client to see or for your own internal purposes. And so then when you're done, you could hit the log hours button. I'm just going to close this timer out for now, however, and I'm going to add my hours manually. So I'm going to go over here. Again, I selected the day I wanted. I'm going to choose the project. This is research project three. I'm going to choose the task, research. Remember, we specified the hourly billing rate for research when we created this project and when we created the research task. So we don't need to specify that now. That's already in the system. So now I'm going to say that I spent five hours researching and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click log hours. When I do that, you'll see the number of hours show up on the day here on Sunday. And if I scroll down a little bit, you'll see that I have a list of all the hours that have been submitted for this day. So as of right now, it's only one task associated with Research Project 3 and five hours were performed. So if I had a contractor or a staff member also working on this project and they were logging their hours, they would show up here as well. I could look at hours not only from a monthly view, I could look at them from a weekly view. So we could see just in this week, which is May 5th to May 11th, we could see all the tasks and projects that have been worked on and how many hours per day. So that's a good way to take a look at your daily hours you're spending on a particular project. At the same time, let's say I worked on a project, but I just got carried away and forgot to log my hours. I could log them all from right here. So I could say, okay, this week, I've got my hours written down on this piece of paper here. Let's get it in FreshBooks. I could choose the project that I worked on, the particular task that I worked on, and then I could enter hours for each specific day here and click the log hours button. At the same time, I could also take a daily view at the amount of hours spent on a project and I could log my hours from here. So you've got a bunch of different options for logging hours. In following videos in this video series, I'm going to show you how you can turn these logged hours into invoices and also how you can take a look at your team timesheets, how much time a specific group of staff members or contractors are spending on a particular project.